Hey, it's Gamari, and welcome to another one of these Day in the Life of a Cosplayer blogs. To start off, I figured I'd just show you guys what I've been working on since the last time I made one of these. So, Maki is done. This is the first of the Danganronpa V3 content, and that costume is now all complete. So you can expect videos from that coming up fairly soon. And so there will be one for making her hair accessories and one for making the uniform. And along with that, I've been back to working on Cruel. I think last time I had finished the skirt and the uh, butt cape and the little bat plush, but I also made her collar and been working on making her sleeves. So you can see this is the base part of it and it is also lined in red to match the butt cape. Because Otakon's coming up, I've been trying to get ahead with videos and filming and just general scripting so that I can have content while that's going on. So I did do two more blog posts, um, one discussing the Casa collection at Joann's, and um, another one, Five Ways Ironing Can Improve Your Cosplay. Along with sewing, I've also been playing Fate Grand Order, which is surprisingly fun. I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. It really doesn't feel like a mobile game. It feels a lot more like a console game. But I've been thinking that perhaps my next new big build cosplay after finishing Cruel is going to be Saber Nero, especially because there is a Italian garden a few um, hours drive away from where I live, and I think that would be fantastic for uh, doing a photo shoot in. I ended up switching gears and working on Cruel's bodice instead just because I wanted to make sure that I had a pattern so that later on when I'm able to get back to sewing I have something concrete and I have the next step already planned out. But that's about it for today. I thank you for joining me on this little update. For more cosplay videos, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching!